Uh, welcome back to all the mini enthusiasts. Okay, this is uh, kind of part six. Um, there's a couple of little things I wanted to show you. Um, this this particular um, welding device or, or helper is is called a Clico clip. And basically, what you do is you just drill a hole through two of your panels, and then you can use this uh, pliers that to uh, sit on. And you can see, hopefully, you can see when I lift it. See how that spring operates, and I can lift, lift that out. But you have to make sure that that, uh, that hole, or that, um, that drilled hole, is, is the right size. And this is uh, another one that comes with a kit. This is basically just a, uh, like a, like a set of mold grips, if you like. They're very, very strong. Quite got, got quite a strong grip on it, and that normally comes with a kit. So, and the other ones are, uh, I think they're known in America as as uh, intergrips. Um, these are really good because if you need to uh, do a, do a, uh, a butt weld where you're welding two pieces of metal in line with each other, uh, these hold the, the standoff in the centre is the perfect gap for for welding. For MIG welding, and this is what it would look like um, if you'd imagine these were two pieces. So that's the kind of gap that it gives you. I mean, these are, these two pieces are just off cut, so they wouldn't be perfectly straight. But that's the kind of gap that it gives you. So these are a few little things, a few little tips you can you can use. Okay, with with uh, cutting metal, you've got this kind of tool, which is basically this is for putting a uh, an, an edge on a, on a on a piece of metal so that you have an overlap and you can drill or punch holes. The other side here is for punching holes, and that side does the the edging. And then the uh, the handheld equivalent is this one. Uh, this is the, this is basically the same tool, um, except one side except you're doing it by hand. This is the the bit that we were looking at before, and all you do is you just twist this head around on this body. That's basically how it works. Um, as far as uh, MIG welding is concerned, you've this is if you've got a situation where you want to do uh, recreate spot welds, or um, uh, th this is this is basically got the two legs on it. So what happens is when you put it onto the metal, you get the the perfect, as you go down onto it, you get the perfect standoff. So you've got the right gap at every time and you'll get a nice weld. And, and the kind of weld you can get is something, I don't know, maybe something, something like this. Um, this is a particular good one here. Uh, there, you can see. And what you get is you get really good penetration, but without, you know, without having um, a big piece of weld to, to, to obviously grind down afterwards but this is perfect for that um, and like a like a puddle weld if you like um, but this is the way to go with it it's a, it's a lot easier I mean this is the standard nozzle here and you can see this is a real uh, problem with them is when you're welding with them quite a lot you get a lot of build up inside and what that does is for one it diverts the gas the shielding gas you have around it in a bad way or it doesn't get through and, and it causes problems so if these these are very easy to clean out you put a screwdriver in there or whatever and, and the, then the slag will come or the slag inside it will just come off very easily but the cleaner it is the better the weld you'll get so these are just a few little things so as you can see we we are now um, I've now put this boot panel in it's actually cut to shape and now what I've done is I've done that this this panel this patch here this redone this one because it was quite a mess in here I've redone this one and the one up in the corner so now I'll start putting the floor in this part of the floor in and you can see hopefully underneath uh, how that looks uh, you can see obviously there's a bit of a gap there because I've got to I've got to put these long mold grips on and then all this will come up in line and then once it's had some seam sealer in it it should look really nice. So we'll call this part six. 
Uh, and then obviously the next ones to go in will be these sections which fit which fit like that up here and then they're bolted with the rear trunnions so uh, yeah so looking for for part seven and hopefully this has been of some interest here but really these these things like these Clico clips and uh, these intergrips for butt welds and so on they, they really are a good bit of kit and obviously the better tools you've got or the easier the job will become you know if you if you're fiddling with with these kind of things which are great they're good for what they are but there are better tools and there are things you can buy so hopefully there's a few tips for you there and I'll see you in part seven hopefully uh, thanks for watching in and if you like and please subscribe bye for now take care bye